everybody. Carl here. Welcome to Aeronautica. A few moments ago, there's been a new update, version 1.70.0.5. It's the phase one of the boats update. So there's an oil tanker, a bulk carrier, a container ship, a fishing trawler, motorboat, sailing yacht, the top fuel boat, and the Zodiac RHIB. The first nautical models in the game. In terms of aircraft, Altac has remodeled the Yakovlev Yak Sorok 2D. Dio has remodeled the Saab 340B and 2000, as well as modeling the freighter variant and the airborne early warning control for those two planes. And there's already cabin lights on the Antonov An Twisty Dwatsat Piat Bria. And three new aircraft, the Diamond DA-20 Eclipse, the Cessna 152, which is a the original variant of the 172, and the Shanghai Y-10. They have updated the Unhedral City Airport. Avalon has now 15 new bridges. The helicopter sounds have been updated. They have fixed the airport ambience wind sound. And most of the airports have their terminal lights updated. Right, so here's the full update notes for those who want to read. And don't forget to pause. Concurrent players. All right, so first let's go to Fiskar Island Airport. And this is the Ilishin Il, the Vienoso Chestrista, and Warrior has yet to remodel this. So where's the new aircraft? All right, here it is, the Shanghai Y-10. And there's some unnecessary red added to it. Let's change the quality to the highest setting. So color one is the most of the fuselage. Let me demonstrate. Then color two is the detailed line. Should be some shade of dark red, but it's the closest we have. And color three is the undercarriage at gray. The Shanghai Y-10, or C, Y-10, C, yeah, I, that's, I don't know how we pronounce it in Chinese, but here it is, the Y-10. Was it better in black or aircraft white? <laughs> I 
And then the other aircraft, the Yakovlev Yak 3D. So color one is the, the front and the middle. Color three is the is the rear, and color two is the middle engine and the stabilizer. The Yakovlev Yak Sorok 3D, Yakovlev Yak 42D. All right, so let's see where the first sub airplane is. I think that's in. Anhedral or Ibn Rao, or let's let's see Anhedral City first. So where's the Saab 2000? Still waiting for rendering. Here it is, the Saab 2000. Make it aircraft white. The portal stabilizer and the engines are are for color two, and color three should be the wings. All right. Let's see. Yep. Aircraft Gray, Saab 2000. Look closely, the blades have some yellow tips on it. Well, I hope Dio would remodel the Airbus A400M Atlas to include these as well. But here is the Saab 2000. Then there's a variant for this. Let's check the database. It's a craftable. The, the 2000 Arii Airborne Early Warning and Control has a radar, and logically, it's it can do reconnaissance. Same blade. And then the other Saab is probably in Harden or Valwa. Let's see. Is it in Harden or Valwa? Or. Hmm. Let's see where the other Saab is. Saab 340B is at too long. So, so let's let's go to too long and let's check the color scheme. We've got the Ice Queen. Remember the Ice Queen? So here's the 340B, and its color scheme is practically the same since it's. Dio made the same work of this, like the 2000. So it's the vertical stabilizer, I mean part of the vertical stabilizer in the back, and the engine, color 2, and color 3. Of course, it's the wings. Aircraft white, aircraft gray, aircraft white. Three forty B. Let's add a flavor of Swede.
and the freighter variant. Oops. 340CF. And for some reason, <laughs> all the win it looks like the windows are closed. All the passenger windows are appear to be closed, which is logical for a cargo plane. It's just the same Salt 340B, except it's the cargo freighter. The only difference is that the the windows are closed. Clear the freighter. All right, let's go for the major point of the update, which is the boats. So there are boats. In the you know, naval objects, yeah, you know, uh, nautical objects, nautical craft. Yes, it's nautical craft. So let's check the that. Oblivious place called the Dock House. I think that's originally the original Wings World Five. You could you could do your training right here, and it's red. That means there's no training held here. Where should we do the? Oh yes, we should do the boat training at Colwella Resort Airfield. So let's teleport to Colwella. <laughs> I've put this groom and goose in the stock house when times just for this purpose. Yes, I put the groom and goose on the dock house just for this purpose when the time came for the boats to be released. Let's now teleport to Colwella Resort Airfield. Where is that? There it is. Let's let's use the PBY. And the training button has the text color of yellow. So that means there's training available. So wait for everything to load. So before we'll check the list of boats, let's start first with the training. So our trainer vehicle is a motorboat and it costs only 10,000 winch points. Fly your trainer aircraft. Oh no! Sail your trainer boat to Harden International in order to pass your final exam. You should change the wording, not to fly your trainer aircraft. You should transport your training boat or trainer naval craft to Harden. Alright, so let's do the final exam. It's just a cheap cost of 10,000 wings points. Right, let's begin, shall we? Check the concurrent number of players before proceeding. And there's an answer of Anfism. One last look at the Anfism. Reverse thrust to the airfield. Right, let's let's start the final exam. And here's our motorboat. <clears throat> motorboat. Okay, has no. There's no captain view there, or controller view for some reason. Let's 
So there's only the, the normal camera, the flyby, the mouse aim. The mouse aim doesn't work. So number three doesn't work. All right. All right, let's let's turn on the engine. I said turn on the engine. What's wrong with this boat? Oh, it confirmed. All right, so let's let's make our way to the airport. So let's increase the throttle. Look at that. Realistic searing. Yeah, there should have been a minifigure of us sitting on the captain's seat. Yes, the two key works. Of course, the nine key works. As well as the eight and seven. Look at that. Whoops. <laughs> it's off center there. Sonic booms. Currently traveling at around 45 knots. Whoops! <laughs> We've just, did we just uh, hit a reef there? All right, let's make our way to the Harden International Airport, it's just on the other side of the island.
So the first orange marker is right behind the airport. This will take a while. Well, look at that. There's some water leaking into the tub. <laughs> right, the dock house is near Pembroke Plantation. Good view of. <laughs> Look at the good view at Harden International Airport. Commercial shipping. So it's an Empire class. Right, hard to starboard.
intentionally <laughs> tilted port there. I don't know how it happened, but... Right, we're almost to the orange arrow. We're gonna stop there. Let's turn on the lights. Collision lights. It's, about, it's already like 5 p.m. at this point. All right, let's start slowing down. You've earned your boat license. Not bad for a bit of 10,000 waste points. And that's it. We're here at Harden. One of the easiest licenses you can obtain. Before we go, let's enjoy the sunset. <laughs> it's over land. Right, we can, this is enough of the horizon, so before we move on, let's enjoy this beautiful sunset at Harden. And the sail will be parked at Harden. Let's see if there's actual boats in Harden. There are none. So let's go back to Kalwella. And our PBY just teleported here for some reason, but it's not a big problem there. So let's go back to Kalwella, restore airfield. Still have that Q650 stationed. We'll move the PBY. 
back. There we go. And it's not buy new aircraft, it's buy new craft or buy new vehicles. If you want to add Dio's fire truck. Yes, it should be add buy new vehicles because you've got aircraft, watercraft, landcraft. So here's what we've been using for the training. It's a motorboat. So it should be gray. The the accessories should be around the color brown or orange. It should be like that. And then the bottom should be the bottom is the the back. I think it's gray. It should be gray. And then Let's just use aircraft gray for the first color. And here's the motorboat. And then there's the sailing yacht. So this is probably the same model as in Wings World 5, the original. Then here is the Zodiac, Zodiac RHIB, it's a patrol boat, so naturally the bottom color should be around black. So Jet black for this one. So. And then camouflage black. camouflage black. And then color three should be that should be the bottom, so that's uh we'll use aircraft gray. Pontoon boat. <laughs> so there's life preservers. No wonder it's called a multi-purpose craft there, so it's really a patrol boat. RHIB. Then there's also the fishing trawler. Should we be able to do some fishing jobs at this point? And it's all black, so let's let's make them shade of aircraft gray for this purpose. So I think only color one and color two being used. Oh yes, the the chimney. The chimney uses color two. So um, yeah, it's one fifty eight, one sixty two, one sixty. So what is color three being used for? Okay, so there's nowhere for color three. So. So here's the fishing trawler. <laughs> it would need some color three as well. There's a lifeboat. And 
finally, there's also the top fuel boat. It's meant for racing, I presume. And there's some water embedded. Let's check the... Um, so this is color one, the the outer, and color two is the this, what do you call this? The spoiler, or is it the what do you call this thing? I, I forgot. It's some racing terminology. It's also used in the back of the race cars. And then color three. Where is color three put for? I don't know where. So here's the top fuel boat. Oh, it's the side of this. Oh yeah, it's in the side. So. Yep, it's the side. So before we go to the dock house, let's check out this Quest Kodiak going to the airfield. All right, just parked. All right. Let's now teleport to the dock house. There's my groom and goose. And it's the same model Kira has modeled a long time ago. What do we have here? The Veriev A Sorok Albatros. An Empire class. Let's check the dealership buy new watercraft, not aircraft, watercraft. So, this is the Apollo class inland bolt carrier. So this is for smaller cargo. And I think it can also transport cars. I think it doesn't. Yeah, it's just for small cargo. <laughs> so color one is the most of the hull. So and then what is color two? Call two is the front and the back. It should be some kind of brown there. And then color, yeah, color two and then color three. <laughs> and color one is the rest of the hull. So let's make that aircraft white. The railings, the bridge, the Apollo class England bolt carrier. Then there's also the Empire class container ship. 
We've seen that before. So color one is the bridge, and color two is the rest of it. Oops. One. Okay, so color three is is the pal part of the palette. The Empire class container ship. And finally, the Orca class oil tanker. The capacity there, so let's. That brown for color one, color three. For color two, that would be the the balcony and the the railing, the chimney. So that should be color white, aircraft white. And for color one, that is the bridge and the inside. So that should also be aircraft white. The Orca class oil tanker. In addition, there's the convertible variants. So there's the Apollo class in like bull carrier. This upgraded variant is the Avalon class. definitely for cars even though there's I think there's there's no back door for the vehicles but yes it's a <laughs> and yes we can see the inside of the Avalon class so left over from the railings Then the convertible variant for the Empire class container ship is the Everest class container ship. Look at that. So huge. Can't see the rudder there. <laughs> Everest class.
And here's the Great Lakes Freighter, which is the convertible of the Apollo class. <laughs> All right, I think it's the first is the Apollo, then the Great Lakes, then let's see, the Apollo, the Great Lakes, and then the Avalon. Yes, it should be the Great Lakes. This is the, the second, the first upgrade you can convert your Apollo with. 35, 56, yes. Yep, yeah, it's this. It's the second. This is level two. <laughs> this is the level two one. And yeah, we can see a shade of red there. But this is only phase one, so there's not a lot of, <laughs> of these. And finally, the, the convertible upgrade of the Orca class oil tanker is the Zephyr class oil tanker. One hundred twenty capacity. So the yellow rarities, the bulk carrier is 135 at 18 knots and 743 kilometers. The Everest class 110 at 74, maximum at 26. The Great Lakes Freighter is 14. So 14, Everest is, yeah, this is so slow. <laughs> yeah. Then, yes, and finally the Zephyr class, it's 22 at 120. Help pad included. Rudder. And that's it. That's all the boats, the watercraft, currently in this version of Aeronautica. Right, so yes, the other two planes. Let's go to New England town. Okay, let's teleport to this His Majesty the Airship R100. Check the dealership. And here's a Diamond DA-20 Eclipse. Keen detail. Finally. Finally made. So, what can we use for color two? Let's make it a cyan, or a darker variant of cyan. There we go. Pale. Blue type, and then let's make this some kind of blue shade there. And then we can make this aircraft white, which is a little change, but just to demonstrate the fine lines. So it's basically a trainer single engine. The DA-20 <laughs> Eclipse. And the other plane, which is the precursor of the Cessna 172, it's the Cessna 150. Let's go to Gaston. Where's Gaston? All right, Gaston Airfield. Let's use the Cessna 172. Here's the Cessna 152. 
the older. <laughs> and so aircraft Y, two thirty-seven, two four two, two four eight, two two four eight. Then color one, we can make it gray. And then color three, let's make that orange. Or a shade of gold. Cessna 152. Do you think the 182 retractable gear and the future remodels of the 172 will have a similar paint scheme? And that is that. All the new aircraft, some remodels, the initial release of the naval objects, watercraft, a new training, it's currently no new continents, but yes. So it says here that the emp the Empire class. Uh, yes. Okay. So yes, it says here that the so the Empire class of is upgraded to the Avaris class. The Apollo Apollo is upgraded to the Great Lakes Brander. And then the Orca, the Zephyr, so only the Avalon bull carrier is without upgrades at the moment. Then yes, the trawlers and then the yacht. Hmm, I think the yacht has not been remade much as in the original Winch World of Five, but That's all there is. All right, so this was the overview of the new update, version 1.70, as well as five extra patches. And that is all for me for Aeronautica. I will see you on the next video. Bye for now. One look, one final look at Gaston.